chair the <clears throat> Waukegan City Council's Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting. Mr. Garland, may I have a roll call, please? Alderman Turner. Present. Alderman Felix. Present. Alderman Bowden. Alderman Martinez. Present. Alderman Newsom. Present. We have a quorum. I like a motion for approval of the uh, Public Works and Infrastructure Committee minutes, committee minutes of May 6, 2024, as presented. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Alderman Newsom. Second. Second by Alderman. Was that Felix? Mark. Oh yeah, he's in. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item C. Audience time, is there anyone here in the audience who would like to speak before this committee regards any item on the agenda for this committee? Sir, please step to the podium. Good evening, Council. I want to uh, really just say to this committee, um, as I'm gonna say to every committee and even the city, as it relates to communication, whatever is going on, when you guys are communicating it to the public, it's poor. Last time you had the committee meeting, we talked about that grant and how uh, the At Mount Foundation is the only organization that applied for it. Then I had people in the audience, oh yeah, we put it up, we put it up, well they did a poor job putting it out there. And so I'm gonna also say, even during Alderman's time, normally you Aldermen say something about what's going on as it relates to the city, programs or something, even if it wasn't said then. I go back and look at last year. It wasn't put up there. I know I ain't crazy. So what I'm saying is, y'all, we got to get better with communicating because even the time frame that they had to even go on there to do it, it was impossible. You and so many of these other audiences know that this administration don't answer emails. They poor with turning phone calls back. And I just want to come up there to tell y'all that. You know what I'm saying? People did reach out to try to apply for that, but of course, they pussyfoot around. We got to stop that. So um, again, the next time you guys have anything as it relates to the community, let's do better. We're putting the information out there and I encourage you aldermans to do the same thing. You know, doing alderman time, your grandstand and stuff like that, that is the time that you take to put the information out there to the community because that's what we want to hear during that time. Not about nothing else that y'all talking about, but about what's going on with our city. Thank you. Is there any, uh, anyone else for audience time? Okay, thank you. Moving on, item. Item two, there's no old business. Item three, in news, <coughs> pardon me, in new business. Like a motion for a resolution approving the utilization of Dukes for root control services per section 2-458, subsection I, subsection one, sole, subsection sole source, for an amount not to exceed $30,000. And Public Works is requesting this uh, expenditure for Duke's root control services to aid in the city's maintenance of the city's sewer system, again, through subsection two, or section 2-4, 2-458 subsection I subsection one sole source um, and the funds are to be charged to line item 555-913-024-438. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Alderman Newsom. Second. Second by Alderman Martinez. Yes. Yeah. have a question? Yes. Uh, Maybe Chris, uh, Director Chris Garland can give us what what actually is that? It, it's rooting. I was trying to look it up, but what actually are they doing for thirty thousand dollars? There's a company that comes out and they service our sewer system. And what we do is we put them in a certain area where we have problems with our sewer lines that have roots up in them, and they run this um, equipment, this chemicals through the system to help eat up the roots that's up in the, uh, the sewer lines. Now we have a cutter that goes on the end of our jet uh, system for our vectors. 
that cuts through the roots. But this stuff helps eat up the roots so that we can uh, cut through it so we can get cleaner pipes. Okay, any other questions? All right. Thank you, Mr. Garland. Roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Felix. Aye. Alderman Martinez. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion passes. Item B, like a motion for a resolution approving spending, spending in authority in excess of $25,000 per section 2-458, subsection I, subsection 7, subsection good faith waiver with Campanella and Sons for an anticipated amount of $200,000 for sewer repairs and improvements. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the funds are to be charged to line item 556-916-027082. Is there a motion? A motion. Motion by Alderman Felix. Second. Second by Alderman Martinez. Roll call, please. Well, correct, correct, I'm sorry. Let's have uh, any questions. Okay, roll call. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Felix. Aye. Alderman Martinez. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Thank you, motion passes. Item C, like a motion for a resolution approving the, the award of the materials bid to Kershawford Truck Services Incorporated per section 2-458 subsection I subsection 3 subsection joint purchasing through Lake County, Illinois for a not to exceed amount of $60,000. These funds will be charged to line item 555-915-525-468. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Alderman Martinez. Second. Second by Alderman Felix. And are there any questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Felix. Aye. Alderman Martinez. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion passes. All right, that is it for new business. Moving on to item four in our agenda, reports and communications. There is a uh, <coughs> line item, discussion of, traf uh, discussion of draft traffic calming policy. And Mr. Stewart, are you gonna speak? Uh, so that, that's actually gonna be presented by uh, city engineer, Jesus Alcacera. Alderman Guzman, can you please release the city engineer? We need his attention. <laughs> Good evening, Council. Sorry about that. Um, so I have a quick presentation for you regarding the traffic calming policy, uh, hopefully to get the high-level overview. Uh, this was a development with Public Works, uh, Planning, Fire Department, Police Department. Um, and so we can also have your input, make comments, uh, uh, make any changes as necessary. So now to start off, uh, can we start with the slide, please? Uh, it's understanding the functional road classifications. So all roads nationwide are classified as either arterials, collectors, or local roads. Um, if you look at the picture to, the, to your left, uh, it shows, or you're right, uh, the mobility and access, it's depending on each class of roads. Some roads are meant to, care, uh, to move people around uh, from uh, large destinations, for example, across the county, uh, uh, across the state. Uh, similarly, the collectors are more uh, to carry more of the local traffic, and then we have your local roads, which carry your, your neighborhood uh, traffic as well. And that's um, part of the reason the white's here. It's because any traffic calming uh, system uh, in these streets need to be really looked at and evaluated. It's a more in-depth analysis that has to be done. Uh, but nonetheless, it's stated in, in, the, in the policy what the approach will look like. Uh, these are some traffic calming measures that are, can also be implemented, uh, bike boulevards and neighborhood greenways, high visibility crosswalks, uh, curve extensions, high visibility signage, uh, race crosswalks and intersections as well, 
Um, next slide, please. Uh, modern roundabouts, uh, speed display signs, uh, mini circles, what they call traffic circles, uh, chicanes, which is the, ser the serpentine design, and also speed humps and speed tables. Uh, so this is, again, uh, the steps in the policy that you have available to you. Go more into detail of what each step looks like, but this is the overall uh, high-level overview. Uh, we're submitting a request. Our proposal is to have at least 33% of the impacted residents uh, submit the request and have that a petitioner go out, collect signatures to make sure that um, you know, if we're imp implementing the program, the neighborhood knows, uh, the residents know, and they're aware of what measures are being taken by city council. Um, and after that, steps two, three, four, and five, and six uh, also dictate uh, what it must take to have the speed study or, or traffic study um, come to life and what recommendations can come out of it. Uh, one thing to note uh, on the neighborhood survey, uh, we're also proposing that 66% of the households, again, within the right-of-way that's affecting that proposed improvement, uh, sign the petition stating that they are um, okay with this, with any particular type of, of traffic calming measure. Um, next slide, please. And then during that process, you know, we have to coordinate with uh, our various infrastructure, uh, transportation planning citywide, uh, coordinate with other agencies such as PACE. Uh, also, depending on what street we are on, uh, require pu uh, public works input, the fire department input, or police department input. So these are all the requirements that we have to look at uh, within those steps, just to ensure that we are uh, committed to uh, the uh, public uh, information and that the, the, the public understands what measures uh, can happen and cannot happen. Uh, next slide, please. And then some of the limits on the, on the program, as you might have guessed, is in the budget. Uh, it has to be planned out. So out of these studies that, 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 that we can do, uh, it'll be presented to the council. It'll come for the Public Works and Infrastructure uh, co uh, Committee. But we must understand where the money is coming from and how we can utilize it for that particular project. And also pr uh, priority. Can you go back? Priority with other programs. We want to make sure that we're not implementing the system right now and that we have our, our rural surface program uh, coming later. It's ensuring that we coordinate with other departments that are involved and get these systems out uh, in an efficient manner. And th that was a great summary. Just to let you know, there is a, a much more detailed document that explains, that defines all these things. It was also on board docs as well. So it, yes. it's not just this presentation, but that's, it, it, staff worked very hard on doing something that kind of comprehensively addresses this. Great, thank you. So uh, does anyone on the committee have any questions about uh, the presentation that uh, Mr. Alcantara has just presented? I, I just want to say, I, I printed this out here. That's a lot of information, a lot of pictures here. Uh, with the uh, introduction and the, uh... so this is the, whole, the whole packet, right? So that is the whole packet. It, it, it's in draft form, so it's just the body, the, 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 the contents, some items that we're working also with our public works director and our, and our transportation planning group as well. But yes, it's, uh, that's the whole policy. That's how, uh, how it will be presented. So if you have any comments, please let me know so I can incorporate them and open up a comment section that we can have uh, open to y'all and also have the responses per uh, our, our stakeholders for the policy. This was just created um, based on what we discussed, right? So this yes. is like kind of like a draft to, to exactly. based on yes. our input? Okay, I mean, for the most part, since we didn't have a, uh, a briefing, I think it would be good to, uh, for us to take this and yes, look and at if it. you want to schedule time in my office, uh, more, uh, more than happy to uh, sit, uh, sit down with every single one of you and explain some of the items that are required in order to have a, a well-enforced and implemented uh, traffic calming policy. So in your presentation, your recommendation is a six-step process. How long do you think that would take? It's Right now, with current staff levels, it'll take about two to four months. Two to four months to get a speed hump Yes. or any other, like a sign or anything. Well, some will be faster. Uh, but I mean, you, you, want, you want 39% of people to sign a petition asking for it and then 66% agreeing to it. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Any other questions regarding that matter? And 30% a, a uh, is that um, just based on the what area? Like, how long of a 
does it? it it's best practices. Uh, we define a section uh, between it, if you if you ask for let's say a speed hump in a particular local road, we will take that whole section from collector or the nearest collector and arterial in between. Um, hence the first slide that explains what the purpose of those roads are to, to carry the, the non-local traffic to the local road and uh, having public input. So we've discussed, uh, I'm sorry, sir, did you have some more? Thank you. So we've discussed speed humps extensively, uh, but I was happy to see that your mention of uh, the many circles, the many go-arounds, I'd like to pursue that. Could you get some more information on those for the well, for everyone, because we're all Yes, uh, if you take a look at your board docs document, I also attached uh, about, I want to say, 15 items recommended by ITE that you can take a look at, and the, and the traffic signal is implemented. I can pull it up if you want me to. No, we're not now. We're, yeah, so as long as that information is available to us. Yes, yes, it, it, it was uploaded all to our board docs. You okay. have access along with the, with the functional class map for the city. Right. Uh, it was a, its own separate attachment, the one that you have with the policy. It's just a screenshot. If you zoom in, it's very blurry, but you have the actual PDF document. I think it's like 40 megabytes, so hopefully you have a, a, a good computer that can read that because it's, it's a lot of data. And so then it will show you the primary arterials, collectors, and all. So all what, what was your source for, like, deciding it's, how many people? Where where'd you get this idea that you have to? Best get, practices. So, so research. Who, who's who's be, best practices? Other communities. Other communities. How many communities? Uh, it was Niles, Evanston, and there was another one that we looked at, and also uh, input from, from, from CMAP. Yeah. They said that they that uh, that's what they typically. Okay. Uh, All right. Thank you, sir. Right. Yep. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Movement by so moved. Alderman Newsom, second by Alderman Turner. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Zeus. We are adjourned.